Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today, we are preparing to scrap a ZJ. <laughs> got my toe dolly all hooked up and uh, hey, check this out real quick. I uh, got some cheap Chinese connectors. I made a nice little connector for my lights and all the accessories I got for this thing. So this is ready to go. Uh, if you want, I'll leave a link in the description below. Got this hooked up. Uh, I got my new chains. I re-ran all the wires for these brake lights. Um, got my new ratchets on. <laughs> this trailer came a long way. Even got new tires, so ugh, missed. <laughs> That's looking good. So yes, this video I am making because I am about to scrap a ZJ. So here's the deal guys, I originally didn't even intend to make a video about this, but I figured it would be very helpful for you guys to know that getting yourself a parts car is a great way to get resources and experience for your project. Um, I had a couple people shaming me for tearing apart the engine on the, uh, on the ZJ, pulling it out, but uh, I just want you guys to know that this vehicle was never intended to be built. Um, whenever I see a parts car, I always think, hmm, maybe I could build it and sell it or fix it up because I am a creator and not a destroyer. But uh, as you know, in the Northeast, the rots, uh, the rot is so bad that um, these, these body panels are <laughs> uh, far beyond repair. Here, check out this, this filler neck. It's a great example. It's just completely rotted up under there. But uh, yeah. Um, I saw this vehicle and I wanted the VIC for my General Grievous, which uh, don't confuse this with that. Grievous is doing fine right over there. So yeah, uh, I got this from Kevin. I got the VIC out of it and uh, that's about a hundred bucks for a working VIC. Um, plus I needed all the components like the coolant tank, um, the washer sensor, all that stuff related to the VIC I got from this. So uh, the sensors alone. And the VIC was probably about $200 value. And uh, I got this whole ZJ for about $250, I think it was. $200, $250. I don't remember. It's, uh, it's a shame it's going to get scrapped. Do you, uh, oh, no. you mind if I buy the whole thing off you? <laughs> oh, no, not at all. Maybe we could uh, work something out, get this thing towed to my house. <laughs> Sounds good. Sweet. So instead of buying just those parts, I took this whole thing home. That's why I got the tow dolly, actually. I get a parts car for every project, uh, even multiple parts cars sometimes. So if your wife will let you... For another crap XJ. <laughs> when you have the space in your yard, I highly recommend getting a parts car. So I spent about 250 for this thing. Uh, it made its money in the first project alone, which was the VIC conversion. Um, also, I got the rear disc brake components for this, um, and you know online, uh, rear disc brake conversion kit for your XJ could be quite pricey. So uh, I have most of the parts for the swap from this already, and uh, a buddy of mine, Gabe, uh, a different Gabe, he actually came and pulled the engine, paid me for the engine. Um, I also had another guy, Mike came down, uh, he, he swapped out. The door and the fender. Now his ZJ was in a wreck, so he threw me a little bit of cash and he took the good door and the good fender. Um, it's a win-win for us. I'm very grateful that he even took the time to replace the door so I still get the uh, weight for the scrap value. And there's many other parts that I could pick from this. The tail lights, the interior pieces, all the latches in here. I'm gonna take the rear <laughs> doors off because there's no rot underneath them and um yeah just even this alone like uh here we go taking off the good old amp and the plugs and whatnot so since the cj owes me nothing in fact it's actually a money maker i'm ahead of the game with this already and i'm only going to be making some more money when i scrap this thing uh, I'm gonna spend the next hour, which I only have an hour left before the junkyard closes. Uh, I'm gonna spend the next hour and I'm gonna tear through this thing. I'm gonna take as many parts as I can and then we're hitting the road. So let's do it.
You can't fix chalk. Once it's broken, it's broken. Even Daddy can't fix that. Mommy can fix it. Of course Mommy can fix it. Mommy can fix anything. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is. Unfortunately, I missed my mark. I uh, got a little carried away. Uh, joint guard closes at four, and it's almost five now. So uh, I did all this in two hours, which is pretty impressive. Uh, not to toot my own horn, but uh, beep, beep, baby. <laughs> I don't mean to toot my own horn, but beep, beep. <laughs> so I got everything out of here. Um, man, not much left. So, since this thing was a total blessing to me, this was actually a money maker. Uh, made about $100 off of it uh, already, and I'm still gonna scrap it and get a couple couple bucks for the metal. Um, and I got all the parts I needed for my disc brake conversion, and I got the parts for my VIC. And check out this, guys. This is what we have. A plethora of ZJ parts. Now I'm going to use some of this stuff, I'm going to tinker with it. Uh, I always like to have extra stuff to invent stuff and play with stuff and do swaps and conversions or, or whatever, but I'm not going to need all of this, so I will pay it forward. If you guys want this, just send me some money for shipping, maybe a little donation to the channel, help me get my ZJ, I mean my XJ underway, and uh, you can have some of this stuff, guys. Uh, if you're local, come by, we'll throw it in your truck. And then, uh, again, a little donation for the channel. Help me pay for my XJ. And, uh, yeah, pass this along. Um, so now we're not sad that we're, uh, that we're junking this. Unfortunately, couldn't get that steering wheel off either. Mm. That always bothers me. Junking a good steering wheel. Oh, and I crunched some of the rusted tailgate. So, yeah, once again, this thing has been a great blessing. Um... All I have needed, thy hand has provided. So great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. <laughs> Amen. Um, all right, guys. I guess I will load this up, and then uh, we'll drop it off at the scrapyard tomorrow. So see you in the morning.
go, guys. <laughs> Load it up. Sketchy, but it'll do. Hope nothing falls out. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Blast off. I can't even see past these bushes. Uh, now or never. <laughs> yeah, baby. XJ Tone is EJ once again. <laughs> oh, great. That <laughs> pulled out right in front of a cop. <laughs> Just moving along, nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I'm going to turn off the phone now. guys we're almost there so the primary objective is to scrap this thing but I have a secondary mission and that is to keep the rear axle shafts from the Dana 35 and the scrap ZJ because these axle shafts have the tone ring for the ABS and when I do my XJ rear disc brake conversion using the ZJ parts I'm gonna want to maintain my ABS so I need the axle shafts uh, the only problem is I had to roll the ZJ to the junkyard so after I pulled all the parts for my conversion I had to slide the axle shafts back in pop the C-clips back in put the center pin back on and <laughs> tighten down the center pin retaining bolt now I'll probably have an opportunity to pull out the axles when the uh, forklift comes and scoops up the Jeep because they usually give you an opportunity to save your rims if you want um, so <laughs> I'm going to try to pull the axles uh, while it's up in the air on the forklift. Uh, I'm going to try to record that process. It should be interesting. I'm going to have to get up under the Jeep and uh, pull off the diff cover and remove the center pin. And then I'll be able to pop the C-clips and take out the axles. So I don't know how that's going to go down. Uh, we'll see. Uh, first, we've got to get up in here. So... Here we go, I'm pulling into Gershaw's Recycling, and uh, I guess I'm gonna make my way over to the scale, and then uh, gotta get it over to the uh, vehicle scrapping area. <laughs> uh, hope the weather holds out. Looks like rain. Um, I'm a little scared right now. <laughs> this guy's coming way too close. Oh, mama. Oh, shit. Well, all right, guys. So I was instructed to take off all the lug nuts so when the forklift comes, the wheels will just pop right off. So the front driver's side, that came right off. But I started having a little bit of problems with the front passenger side. Now, um, <laughs> I got half the lug nuts off. Well, three out of five ain't bad. But the last two gave me some trouble, like a lot of trouble. I could not get two lug nuts off. Uh, I tried and tried and tried. I stopped, I paused, I looked around because I felt like a big idiot. And I'm rocking this thing back and forth like a gorilla. And uh, either I'm really strong or this lug wrench was made in China because I twisted this thing and I bent it. So uh, <laughs> off to get a new lug wrench. But uh, as I walked away to get another lug wrench, the old forklift operator thought he had the green light to go snatch up a ZJ. Uh, I had to wave him down and say, no, I didn't get the lugs off yet. Do not take the ZJ. I need my wheels, and more importantly, I need my axles. So stop right there, good sir. And here I go in the most sketchiest position I've ever been underneath a vehicle. No park, no e-brake, no wheel chocks, 
no lug studs, and soon to be no C-clips holding the axles off. After a couple minutes, I got the center pin retaining screw off, and out comes the center pin. <laughs> sweet victory. Now we just gotta take off the rear lug nuts, of which there's only two on each side of the rear. Uh, you'll find out why in a later video. Alright, lug nuts are off. Time to signal the forklift operator he can scoop up the Jeep. <laughs> and while I'm doing that, a huge gust of wind blows in, knocking the camera off the tripod just in time for you to miss the forklift, grabbing the Jeep, knocking the wheels off, and me swooping in and saving my axles. Uh... So, now it's time to collect my wheels. Well, three out of four anyway. Get them out of the way of the forklift operator and give them the good old thumbs up, let them know they're gone. And that's it guys, say bye bye to the Scrap ZJ. Peace. <laughs> all right guys, we are finished dropping off the ZJ. Let's counter, all right, here we go. 50, 10, that's 60, <laughs> 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, <laughs> $69 for a ZJ shell. And you know what? I'll take it. So uh, we'll keep selling those parts. We'll add to our uh, Project XJ fund. And uh, I just checked the phone and I am so upset. The wind blew over the phone right before my special axle trick. <laughs> I was able to take the axles out. So I got my axles for my disc conversion on the XJ and uh, things are gonna work out just fine. So, gonna end it here. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next project. Peace.